Hello everyone. As you've seen around social media, or it might be just me, there have been a lot of frog content. And my fellow crafters have been making some really fancy keycaps. For example, my fellow friend here, um, Bevel Pop, making her uh, amazing keycap. Also, other crafters, Omipon, I don't really know how to pronounce it, so I pronounced it wrong. And also, Matcha, best bubble tea flavor. So let's get started on our keycaps. For colors, I have some pink keycaps, got off Amazon, and I have some green keycaps, some of them I painted black, but green keycaps. And we're going to use this green color because it's more closer to the green color of frogs. Done. And I might just make a pink frog on the side, but you guys won't be able to see that. So I'm going to start off with mixing my green, and I don't like a green green like a normal regular green, no. I like a cuter pastel green. Get some white and then get some whatever this color is, sparkly green. Just throw in a couple of colors, use your eye, your artistic eye. You will end up mixing the color that you want, kind of, sometimes. Should be the color of like a nice matcha, not this type of matcha. When you guys eat boba, you know how the boba has the soft outer layer and the little bit harder inner layer? What I do is I chew off the sides like only the soft part first and then I just chew the hard part. I don't know if anyone else eats boba the way I do, but let me know if you do. Speaking of the green color, we have our green clay. And then we're just gonna smack it on here and smooth the green across the entire keycap. And while we do that, I will tell you guys a rant about my matcha. So the past two times I tried matcha boba and not including this because this is actually good. I was at different boba shops, right? And their matcha tasted literally like milk. It was so bad. The only thing making it good was the lychee jelly I ordered as the topping. I don't know what happened with the quality of matcha these days or like if boba shops are just trying to save on the matcha because it's pricey or whatever. Yeah, that is not okay. Um, I paid good money, hard-earned money for that matcha boba, and they ruined it. Okay, so if your keycap, if you use too much clay to smear your keycap, what I like to do is just take an exact knife and just chop it through. You guys probably will have some clay coming into the bottom of the keycap, and what I do to solve that problem is I simply take an exacto knife and then scrape off the green. So here is my keycap so far. I tried my best to get the clay even. So it is not perfectly smooth, but once you put UV resin over the entire thing, it'll cover up any small bump. And next, it is time to make the frog part. So we're just gonna make a simple little frog, a little dumpling with two eyes. So what you're gonna do is take a ball of clay, roll it into a circle. It doesn't have to be a perfect circle, just a decent circle. Then put it on your work surface. You're just going to press it down so the bottom part is flat, but the other side is just like a round, little dewdrop shape. Yep, plump little dewdrop shape. And then what you're going to do is take a tiny piece of white clay and you're just gonna roll it out a tiny little bit to make it an oval. Because I like that shape of stomach, you can make it a circle if you want. And then you place it on the stomach part of the frog. And you're gonna place the frog onto the keycap. Very cute, very nice. And then we're gonna start making the eyes. Take a piece of green clay, the same color you use for the body, roll it into a ball, then you roll it into a oval. And then you flatten it out slightly. Because what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut it in half. So then it'll be just two semicircles. You can cut it out with a head. So now we're gonna take a dotting tool and we're gonna make eye holes. So just make two holes in the oval, kind of like how you would make holes for a pig's nose. Then you take your black clay and cut out two tiny little circles to place inside those holes. Then you're gonna cut it in half like this. And then you have your two eyeballs. So what you're gonna do with the two eyeballs is you're gonna stick it on top of the head. Very nice and cute. After that, we are going to add a little smile and some blush. A very default frog here, I know. Roll out a long piece of black clay, cut off a tiny portion, and curve it with your finger. After you curve it, you're gonna stick it right between the eyes so it's a tiny little smile. Oh, sticky clay gets stuck to my blade all the time. And then you have to make it extra cute, so you have to stick two balls of blush on there. All you have to do is roll out two balls of pink clay, then you take a dotting tool, and then you just stick it where the cheeks would be. Ta-da! I'm gonna add some little frog hands, um, totally optional, just on the sides of the belly. Ooh, if you guys want to add like a little strawberry or something, I would not be against that. You know, I like this go with the flow type of thing, you know, just adding things, adding elements you think would seem fit 
for the frog as you make it. Well, what I did was take a ball and then roll it on one end to make the strawberry tip and then flatten the other end with a finger to make it round. Take a small ball of green clay, smack it on top of the flat side, then you are going to make little leaf marks. So you're gonna basically pretend it's a pizza, you're gonna cut it in half, then you're cutting it into fourths, then you're cutting it into sixths, stuck the tip right between the eyes so it fits. And then what you can do is take some white clay and add little the three little dots that cute artists put on their strawberries to make it extra cute. There you go, here is a cute little froggy keycap. So another problem I just came up with is I don't know if you're supposed to bake the keycap on the bottom um, because if you are and it melts, that is not good. I don't know what to do. So I'm gonna go test out if this can be baked and if not, then I will let you guys know. So here is how the frogs look like. They are so cute. Um, the green one is a little fat, so I don't recommend putting it on any like, of the keys in the middle of the keyboard. Probably better for the escape key, and I'll probably fix that on my later frog keycap. Probably don't want to consistently press on these a lot because that will hurt your finger. Yeah, hope you guys like it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Have a great day. Let me know if you guys have any more keycap ideas because you can bake polymer clay in the oven. Yeah, if they're PBT, if the listing says PBT, you can bake them in the oven at like 200 degrees, 215, that's fine. So I hope you guys have an amazing day and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.